Now, this is one place that I can already tell you performance medicine differs from a lot of primary care and even endocrinologists in the way that we look at and treat thyroid. Standard thyroid labs are looking at a TSH and a free T4 only. But when you understand how many ways that process can go wrong and you see how many people actually end up with a lot of reverse T3, you realize how important it is to be also testing reverse T3 levels. So reverse T3 is an inactive active thyroid metabolite that is derived from the breakdown of T4. But instead of activating things, it's like an off switch in the body. It blocks to the T3 binding sites and it, it clogs them up. So the way that I typically explain this process to patients is if you think of T4 as the gasoline that's going into your car. If your car is turned off and the engine is not changing combustion, whatever, with that gasoline, you're not going anywhere. So so the gasoline or the T4 has to go through a changing process to become power. We think of T3 as the gas pedal and reverse T3 is your brake pedal. So if you're sitting in your car and you have your foot on the brake, I don't care how many times you push that gas pedal, you're not going anywhere. So reverse T3 is that brake pedal. If we're sitting there and pushing the gas and we're not going anywhere and we're like, wow, I have no idea why we're not going anywhere. If you don't look over and see if your other foot's on the brake, you're never going to know. So if we're not testing reverse T3, we're never going to know if we have the proper balance or if we're sitting with our foot on the brake. 